If you're a bookkeeper or an accountant and you want a solution for those really tiny, tiny clients, today I'm gonna to talk about an option where you can get QuickBooks online for only $10 a month for those clients. This is a newer option to QuickBooks that's come out within the last year. You guys seem to really like the video I did last month about tiny clients and what I like about tiny clients, what I dislike, some ways to work with them, and maybe even troubleshoot like if they can't afford to pay you every month, maybe you do them quarterly or annually. So you can watch that video after this one. I was talking about how even I think it's called Simple Start, like the lowest version of QuickBooks might be too expensive for those tiny clients. And so I said you can definitely do bookkeeping with an Excel document, like you can do enough in Excel to you know get them all their categories and get them ready for tax time. Side note, I also did mention QuickBooks desktop. Someone left a comment and said desktop is not supporting like new clients. So they are keeping like people existing that are already using desktop. So you can do some research on that if that applies to you. But all that to say, someone left this comment on that video and they said, would QuickBooks Ledger be a good option? And I don't know if I've been like hiding under a rock, but I hadn't heard of this, so I did some research. I don't know, sometimes you just need someone to explicitly explain something to you. QuickBooks sends out like a lot of emails, a lot of information, a lot of training, and it's really hard to keep track of every, like all their products that are happening. But, so I'm here to do that for you today. I'm gonna explain QuickBooks Ledger. And I'll also go over some specifics about real life people who have tiny clients. And then also include just four more of my favorite things about those tiny clients. So here is their kind of sales page explanation page for QuickBooks Ledger. So it says a solution for you to help low complexity clients. And I'll link this website down below, but you can see this is their list of who would be a good fit for that. Clients with very few transactions, people who are using Excel or something less sophisticated to do their bookkeeping currently, possibly clients with seasonal businesses, and it should probably be a service-based business because you can't track inventory or anything. All right, and two very big things to understand about this. First of all is you cannot downgrade your current clients to this $10 a month plan, which this is a bummer because I actually have a client that would be a better fit for QuickBooks Ledger. But I guess, I mean, if you think about it from QuickBooks's point of view, they didn't make a new plan to downgrade people. They really made it to get new customers. And of course, over the years, you know, their price is going to go up. So that $10 a month, you know, in five years probably will be more money. So then they get people in the door, they get those paying customers. And then, you know, and then most likely people realize, oh, I like this brand. Or as that small business grows, they are able to upgrade their services within QuickBooks. So it's pretty smart of Intuit to do this and grab that section of people who weren't using QuickBooks previously. So you cannot downgrade. Second of all, you can only use this in QuickBooks online accountant. So the average business owner can't go and sign up for QuickBooks Ledger. You have to have the accountant version. And if you don't know what the accountant version is, you can find other videos on my channel about this, but it's kind of what it sounds like. You log in and you can see all of your like five, 10, 15 clients in one place. So as an accountant with QuickBooks Online Accountant, you just go into your existing account, you can do add new for add new client, start filling out their information, and then here is a screenshot of what it looks like. You can see Simple Start was previously the cheapest one, and then right below that is the $10 a month ledger. All right, and this is just another little blurb that I grabbed. You can pause and read it if you want, but I kind of already said this stuff. Only accountants can add people you can't downgrade. You can migrate stuff that will help you migrate from like an Excel document, I think, to their new platform. All right, so let's get into what is actually in QuickBooks Ledger, like what is included and what's not. So I did watch a 10 minute video from Hector Garcia. I would definitely recommend that if you're interested in this. I'll leave his video about this topic linked in my description box, but he actually goes into QuickBooks Ledger. It gives you kind of like a screen record of what it looks like in there. Here's a quick screenshot where they list what you get with Ledger. Basically, it's all the basic things you need for a simple client. Obviously, that's how it's designed. So you still get bank feeds. You still get all the reporting that are in the lower versions of QuickBooks. As you pay for the more expensive versions of QuickBooks, you'll get different reports, but you get the basic ones. You get 1099 tracking, which is actually really helpful. I'm kind of surprised they included that because so if you have contractors that work for you, you can send them 1099s in January. And as always, you can add your client as a user so they are able to see their books, you know, on the cloud anytime they want. So it's really everything you need. Really bank feeds and reports are the biggest things you're gonna need for the small clients. And one more screenshot that you might find helpful. I went into, you know those grids they have that compare like a bunch of different versions of QuickBooks. And then usually it has little green 
green check boxes like this is included in all these things this is included and then as you get to the more expensive one more things are included right so these were just the most glaring things to me that were not included in quickbooks ledger but these things are included in quickbooks simple start so if you want some of these things you might want to pay that i think it's 30 dollars a month i'm not sure if that's with or without the discount but so capturing organizing receipts that's kind of a big one if you want to do your receipt tracking in quickbooks online you'll need to pay for the more expensive one. I have a couple videos on how to do that receipt tracking if you're interested. The other things that are missing are more about more advanced ways to kind of collect money. So if you want to invoice through QuickBooks, it looks like that's not included. And then sales receipts also are not included. And then mileage too. I actually don't know that many people that track mileage within QuickBooks, but I can see that being useful. If you want to do that, then you could just got to pay for the next level up. Let me know in the comments below if you've used QuickBooks Ledger and what your thoughts about it are. I personally haven't used it, but I I think it's a really good option to fill this gap that was left, that left a lot of people without QuickBooks. I'm gonna end this video here and then I'm going to make a part two that is practical examples about how to work with tiny clients.